tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to uh, work with functions and also do something interesting. We're going to use dictionaries, lists, file reading, and also functions, which is the main, um, the main driver of this class. You don't want to have a huge monolithic main program that does everything in steps. Instead, you want to have small functions that then you can call, and you can test your functions by using the Python shell. So, what I'm going to do is, I have this file here, which is the actually the I have a dream speech that Martin Luther King uh, gave before he was assassinated, of course, during the civil rights era. So I have this wonderful speech here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze it. I want to know how many times he says freedom versus how many times he says Americans, for example, how many times he says whatever, you know, I want to, I want to be able to analyze it. So. What I'm going to do is, first, I'm going to save this speech. I think it's already saved in, in this word count file. It's right in here. I have a dream.txt. Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, I'm going to create a new Python file. Okay. And I'm going to save as. And I'm going to save it as in the same place as the speech is, just for simplicity, so that I can access this file quickly. So you see, here's where I have a dream speech, and this I'm going to do analysis.py. Okay? I can put comments in Python, comments for, like, uh, important comments separated by three quotes. And then I can say, you know, something like, um, this is a tool set to analyze the I have a dream speech. For example, all right, I'm going to save this. Now, is this saved? Yeah, it is saved as a Python file. Okay, syntax highlighting is not working very well here. Now, we know, now here we're going to put pieces together. We know that to read, we know that we will need to read this file and separate all the words by space. So I'm going to create a little function that does just that reads a file and returns a list with the words. So with the word def, I'm going to define a function. Then the name of the function will be um, file to list, for example. That's the name. And then inside parentheses, <coughs> all the parameters that this function can take. So things that I'm going to pass to this function to work with. I'm going to pass it a file name. I will put colon here because colon denotes that a block is now going to begin. I cannot write here, instead I'm going to indent. So everything indented at this level is going to be part of this def function. At this level or inside, it's going to be part of this def until there's another uh, definition of a function. But everything in here, indented here, is going to be part of this definition. So in order to get uh, uh, the words, Let's assume the words are separated by space. I'm going to ignore punctuation because, of course, some words are separated by a period or a comma. I'm just going to ignore that for simplicity, okay? But I'm going to think that the words are separated by a, um, by a space. So then this fi uh, file to list will just return the... I will open the file name. I will read it. That returns a string. So I'm going to do this step by step. I'm sorry. I'm going to do this step by step first. So first, I'm going to get the string that from this file. So file is going to be open file name, just like we did in the previous video. File string is going to be f.read. That gives me a file string. And then I'm going to return the file string split on space. That will return a list of uh, words. Can we test it? Of course we can. Let's go to the directory where my speech is. Uh, it is called word count file. So I am in the same directory as this file over here. I'm going to open, and the, I have a dream speech. I'm going to open the Python shell. I'm going to copy this function into my Python shell. Some programs can do this directly. I'm just doing everything by hand here. I copied this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so a equals file to list, and then the file name is 
I have a dream.txt. So I'm going to invoke file to list with the name of the file that I'm interested in reading. And because this file to list here returns a list, I'm going to put that list into the variable A. So it goes there. Let's see what A is. Let's print the first, I don't know, the first 20 words. So A, everything from the beginning to the 20th element, or index 19. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for. Right? These are the first 20 words. Right? So yes, I can read this. I can read that function. We're going to optimize these things a little bit later. Now, now that I have a list of items, I can count them. Remember we saw that using dictionaries. So I'm going to create a, a function that re you give it a list of things and returns the counts. So def count words and then l words to denote that it's a list of words that I'm going to give it, colon, and then I'm going to indent because I want things to, uh, uh, I want this next set of instructions to be part of, to be the code for this function. So here we go. Like we said, you know, there will be, I assuming that this is a list, so I'm going to create a little dummy dictionary to start filling it out. And I'm going to say if this dictionary, oh, I'm sorry, for each word in the list of words, another block, indent, I'm going to do this. If the dictionary has key w, if the dictionary has, has a key with that word, then I'm going to that element, I'm going to increase it by 1. Else, if the dictionary, what happens if the dictionary doesn't have that word? Well, then I'm going to create it, and I'm going to assign the value 1, because it's the first time I see a word. And then at the end of the for loop, when it's gone through all the words, I'm just going to return whatever that dictionary looks at at the time. Okay? So I'm going to save this. And to test this function, I'm going to copy it in my little shell, and I'm going to try it. Where's my list of words? Of all the words for the speech? Oh, it's in A. So what I can do here is I can say, I don't know, word count is going to be equal to count words, and then the list of words is A. Let's look at word count a little bit, okay? If I print it all, it's going to print the whole, all of the words in the speech, but let's, let's do that just for fun. So it prints really badly, but we can see that the word time, for example, is mentioned five times. We can also check how many times is freedom there. How many times is the word freedom mentioned? Oops, uh, it's not D. WC. So I can say WC is where I have my dictionary, and I can check how many times does the word freedom appear in this dictionary. 19 times. How many times does the word America appear in this dictionary. Five times. So I can start analyzing the speech. I have just counted all the words in two functions. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I know my, my two functions work as intended. So now I'm going to add a little program that goes like this. It'll say a variable a equals file to list and then the file name is going to be I have a dream.txt and then a little dictionary with the word counts is going to be count words with a just like I did before and then what I can say is print wc okay this is a little program but notice this one thing here this is the actual program and it's very easy to read it's okay from a file get a list of words into a then count those words in A, and then print those counts. It's very simple. It's not a big text. You can just read this and understand it. And if you want to know how you count the words, well, then you refer to this function. Always code in very small functions. Okay? So we save it. We're going to quit the shell, and then I'm going to run it as a Python program. Python, uh, what is this called? Word uh, analysis analysis.py. 
So I'm going to run this, and it outputted the dictionary, right? So look at this, American 1. We saw that American happened more than, more than once, but this is American, and then there's a comma. So it is advisable that when you're reading this file, when it's in the form of a string, you replace commas with nothing, you replace punctuation. So, every, so if it says American, you're not stuck with American comma and, and American without a comma. They're not different words. <coughs> the South, for example, appears twice. So you can analyze this. Next, uh, in the next installment of this, I'm going to talk about two modules, which is basically a lot of people have coded functions for Python. Let's use those functions in our programs.